All right, our next video in the Assimilator series has just got to be one of the most favorite things I like to do with Assimilator, and that is using single cycle waveforms. So um, in the description below this video, I'm going to have a link where you can download this single cycle waveforms pack, and it was very generously made by Adventure Kid. It's called the Adventure Kid Waveforms Pack. It's free, it's readily available on the internet, and I'll, uh, I'll have a link underneath there. Okay, so um, we're leaving off in the folder that we were working in last in my video series folder here. So we're going to load, and what I would recommend doing once you get the Adventure Kid waveforms is just put the whole pack on the root of your hard drive. It's like 5,000 um, waveforms, and um, I think it's like 4 megs or something. It's nothing. So that's, that's all these, the AKWF Adventure Kid waveforms. Um, so these are all single cycles. So um, let's just like pick one. So we'll just play in Adventure Kid Waveform 16. All right. So I'll go load folder. And so it just loaded up that whole folder. So empty, meaning there's no presets made here. So we'll go to channels and we'll start assigning these single cycles. We'll just build like three. All right. So here we are on channel one, right? So I'll load, like let's just load the first one here. All right. So this is a single cycle waveform, so you're, you're not going to hear anything more than a click if you, if, you, uh, if you trigger it. So the way which you hear this single cycle waveform as an oscillator is you turn on one of these loop modes. So there's two with a simulator. The first one, is a loop mode which just repeats indefinitely, right? Like that. So you can hear it, right? So now you've got an oscillator. And the second loop mode is a gated loop mode, so it'll it'll repeat as long as the gate is high. And then once the gate falls, um, it'll just continue playing that loop, you know, like until it finishes. So not um, applicable for this sort of a loop, but anyway, that's uh, those are the two different loop modes. So with the simulator and the Adventure Kid waveforms pack, you have like five thousand oscillators now, with built-in envelopes. All right. So speaking of envelope, let's give this guy a little bit of love. So we'll just adjust the release time. So once again, the white cursor is where you're selecting, right? And we'll click on release, and we'll just turn this up to like one second. All right, let's give him one and a half. Oops. All right, one and a half seconds, nice. Okay, so let's, uh, let's actually, I've got a sequence set up on NerdSec right here. So let's just get this guy playing here. All right. Super simple, not exciting, not a big deal. Okay. But while we're at it, let's assign some pitch CV to 1A here. Track 1A. So I'm going to go to pitch. And you scroll down right here where it says off. And we're going to assign 1A to be pitch. So I've got some pitch data coming from this sequence also in NerdSec. Not super exciting, but just making it work here. All right. So don't forget too that all of these these assignable parameters have an attenuator right here. So for pitch, I don't think I would tweak it. But um, if I was coming from an LFO or coming from something else where it wasn't specific, like my sequencer, this is a way you could attenuate that. All right. Um, pro tip here: if you want to mute a channel anytime. 
We'll talk about the mutate um, menu in a bit in another video. But if you want to just quickly mute a channel, you can hold down the mutate and hit that channel. So think of mute like mutate. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to stop this, uh, this sequence running and let's just assign oops, the next sample to channel 2. All right, so let's just take waveform number 2 here. All right, and similarly, let's turn the envelope up to one and a half seconds. That sounded kind of nice. All right. And so on channel two, we have to set it on loop. Nice. So we have this guy, nice bass tone, and then we have this kind of brighter, brighter one there. All right. So let me start my sequence again. I've got a channel programmed for this guy too. So right into trigger. Okay, now let's assign pitch CV to channel two also. So once again, make sure you're on the right channel, right? Then go to pitch. And now this one, so I go to off because there's nothing controlling pitch right now. Click the data encoder and let's go to 2A. Alright. So now coming from NerdSec, here's my here's my pitch CV. Again, not an exciting song here, just proof of concept. So now we talked about how you could adjust the matrix settings. So we've got channel two that's taking its pitch CV one volt per, per octave here, right? But let's listen to it on 1A. So we don't have to change any patching here. We know that there's some pitch data happening here too, right? So now the same pitch CV is tweaking both of these. We could pull this one out. Again, ideas should be going off in your mind right now <laughs> of what you could do with this amazing thing. Okay, so now just to review here, we have two channels with pitch CV coming from two different places. All right. So let's light up a third one. So we'll go to channel three, click to select sample. Let's use the third one. Okay, once again, envelope, release. Let's do this one like two seconds. <laughs> we're feeling crazy. And we're going to put that on loop. Okay, and this one sounds like this. Nice. All right. I'm going to jump ahead here a little bit and show you some level controls here. All right. I can hear that when I press that one, this is kind of overloading my stereo outs here. Okay. So I'm going to go to level. And I'm going to turn channel 3 down just a little bit. Take it to minus 5. Alright. I also think I'm going to turn the envelope a little shorter. Bring it down to just 1. It's going to be this nice bass tone that's going to ring through. So coming from NerdSec, another trigger. All right. And let's assign it some pitch CV. So 3A, right? I'm going to 
sure I built any pitch CV. Oh, I do actually. All right, there's three channels pinging happily. Three oscillators, three single cycle waveforms. And of course you give it a little bit of reverb shimmer. And suddenly you've made wonderful music. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna talk about how to change stereo outs versus the individual outs because you can send anybody anywhere on a simulator. Okay, we'll see you then.